It's July 20th, 2016, and today marks the 47th anniversary of the Apollo 11 lunar landing. It was, of course, on this day that Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins all, of course, made history by landing on the moon. Now, many of you may have had the opportunity at one point or another to make the journey up to Washington, D.C. and check out the Smithsonian, where you may very well have seen the Apollo 11 command capsule up close and personal. And if you've ever had the opportunity to check out that display, you know that for obvious reasons, it is, of course, protected and preserved behind plexiglass. So you can actually go up and look at it and kind of look inside of it, but you can't touch it or go inside of it. But in a way, all of that changes today, and that was the real reason I wanted to record this video. You see, the Smithsonian has partnered up with Autodesk as part of their venture of capturing many of their artifacts that they have in their collection in 3D as three-dimensional models. And the Apollo 11 command capsule is the latest one of those models that the Smithsonian has released. In fact, today, you can go up to the Smithsonian website and download a three-dimensional model of the Apollo 11 command capsule. In fact, you can download a 3D printer-ready version, a render-ready version, or a raw data version and check out both the interior and exterior of the Apollo 11 command capsule. And I think in doing so, it, it opens up sort of a, a vantage point of the Apollo 11 story that many of us have never really been able to experience or witness firsthand. In fact, if you go inside of the command capsule, because of the use of not only laser scanning technology, but technology such as the photo to 3D technology that Autodesk has as part of its recap photo offering, we get to see things like what the astronauts actually wrote inside of the capsule, a, a calendar and various calculations. And, and all of that really brings to light the sort of human aspect of the Apollo 11 mission. If you haven't already, I'll leave a link down in the description below to go check out and download the entire Apollo 11 command capsule data set. For CAD Community, I'm Donnie Gladfelter. Thanks so much for watching.